Okay, hi everybody, it's me again. Oh my god. Yo, this episode of um Kiss Neighbor. It kinda went in. It kinda, it kinda went in um a DBZ reference. <laughs> yes, there was no, this is people. There was a DBZ reference in this anime. And the way it was used, like, yo. Okay, let's get into it. Episode 6. Um, okay, so now we're shifting gears. We saw the conclusion of last week's episode. And pretty much this episode has has, con has, has concreted it right in our face of what's going on. We all know the Kisneavers. Maki, Chidori, Tengu, uh, Yasu, uh, Katsuhira. I can't believe I remember these names. Nico, you know, all those people. That group. And we know that they're, they share their pain, physical pain. But from last week's episode, they now share something else. Pain of the heart, which surprisingly, is he's not immune to, Katsuhira. So, the Katsuhira. I actually like the beginning of the episode when they just bolt and they get a pain in their, their, their chest or stomach again. And they play Chidori. She's like, Hearing that face, I love Chidori. I, I love her. She's so she's so cute. She's a redhead. I mean, anyway, this episode focuses strictly on Maki. Now, basically, this whole thing about her killing someone—well, she didn't kill anyone, but she feels like she did. This has to do with her friend who um, died, supposedly. And this also has to do with a manga. This is actually kind of funny. It's a manga that her and her friend, that Maki's friend and her, created in junior high school. And it was a big hit, huge, huge, you know, big hit with, with, with junior high school girls. It's a shoujo manga. And Maki is feeling the pain of this because basically what occurs is she decides to leave. She doesn't want to stick around with, Ten with Tenga and the others and Katsuhira and everything. So she leaves. <coughs> Along the way, Nico is with her. And in the beginning of the episode, we do see a flashback of... Maki and her friend, and Maki's calling her stupid, 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 and she's like, "Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm stupid." And then her friend kind of tries to kill herself. She moves backwards on this ledge, and you're like, "Oh shit!" But Maki grabs her and stops that. And that's where the flashback ends. Now. This has to do with something that she did in her past that, you know, she wants to forget. And Nico, when she leaves the air of the apartment where they are at, which is Katsuhira's house, apartment, complex, uh, says the same thing, that she's stupid and she totally doesn't want to be with her, Maki. And saying, I don't need friends, you know, and so on and so forth. She pushes her off and she walks away. She bumps into her editor, who was, the publishing company was for the manga, and they're they, they trying to do it into a movie. Um, and this totally distorts her. And now, peep, and now everyone among the group, because neighbors are feeling the hurt in their hearts again. And this results in Yasu seeing her. And it's kind of funny, because the, 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 the episode plays Yasu, shows Yasu looking at the manga and everything, and he kind of gets a connection with her in that moment. So he saves her from this editor who's being a dick, just pressuring her at all time. Um, and she leaves, and she, 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 she's being rude to Yasu, which is understandable because of her situation and how she feels. So, but the mission comes up from Sunazaki to save 
mocking. We also get another scene with the mayor and everything and so on and so forth. So you can see that the wheels are turning with his neighbor, this anime. They're really moving forward. They're trying to connect everyone together. And by connecting together, they can fully understand people and everything. That's the whole gist. Ooh, peace. But what ends on happening is they have to save her. Basically, Maki goes to the school along with everyone else. They, they're going to go to the school. Um, and that's when they see Maki and she's getting pressured by these TV crews who are saying, oh, it's the artist. It's the artist, you know, and everything. And all the girls are there, and they 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 can't believe it's her. She's the one who created the manga and everything. Who was the artist for it? And that's when she completely breaks down. Says no, you know. So and then <laughs> Tenku. Two things in this scene were funny. What Tenku said. And what, um, I forgot the guy's name. The one who likes pain among the group. I apologize. What he said. Let's talk about what Tengu said. He said, or Tenga. No, did I say Tengu? Tenga. He said, why are you messing with my homie? <laughs> I'm sorry. I should, that was just a weird line. He could, he could have just said, but messing with your, my friend. I mean, it might be the translator, but I found it funny. And then they basically... They're, they're threatening the news crew. Like, what's his face? The one who likes pain? He's like, say, oh, I'll post this. There. It was a laugh and a half what they were doing. And they, they I got them to back off and they ran away. The, the news crew that was going to try to interview uh, Maki. So they save her. And Kenga lets it out that they were had a mission to save her. And it wasn't, she didn't know about it. And she just ran and runs off. And that's when the one who likes paint says that Chidori's was Cyberman level. And I'm like, did this motherfucker just drop a DBZ reference in this show? <laughs> so I'm guessing, like, what, what's, what's Maki's pain? Freeze a level? <laughs> so anyway, or Saiyan level, whatever. Anyway, she runs away. Nico then says, oh, she's a set. Nico, I, this character, she's really good. I, I really like the characters in this show. The female characters. Sonosaki, Chidori, Nico, Maki. They're very done well. I really, I can't like argue. So she says oh, how, you know, the pain that they're feeling is split apart, is split around. So now it's seven times less than it would be for Maki. Then, they decide to find out, they find, to go to the junior high school she went to. But, Katsuhira, Kacha, has something else to do. He can't go with them. He's going to go somewhere else. He goes, and conf this was, this was the best part of the episode, in my opinion. The best, and one of the reasons why I give it a four and a half out of five. Almost a five. I would have given it a five, but I just feel like, you know. He goes up, Katsuhiro, Katsuhiro, Kachan, to where Sonazaki is. And begins to talk to her about what happened and everything. And saying that, oh, he can deal with physical pain. He doesn't feel it. But this this new kind of pain with the heart, he feels it. He, he finds it unpleasant. So, as soon as Aki says, oh, did I bust your balls? He says, he says some kind of line. Or that, are you angry at me? He says, no. And this line he said, think about this. Think about this. Because this really speaks volumes. This is somebody, Katsuhira, somebody who doesn't feel anything. He says this line, 
When I heard this line, I was like, damn. He said, I'm disappointed in you, Sonozaki. Now, the whole point of, of this whole situation is that she's trying to get the, um, because like she said in the beginning of the episode, Sonozaki, they have been the furthest, they've been the closest to achieving the ultimate goal of the experiment. And the fact that he says she, he's disappointed in her, and he doesn't feel anything, that's, that's bad. When someone who doesn't feel anything says, I'm disappointed in you. And he's like, he, like he said, he's never felt this before. So this is like a whole new fucking experience for, and it's just, it's just so crazy. Because when you look at Tsunazaki and you look at Katsuhira, they kind of feel the same in the way they are. And to say that to her, damn, he just burned her ass. He just burned her ass. And he walks away. She hits the piano key and the end of the episode ends. I'm like, damn. Say that light. That was like the best up part of the episode. Because it goes to show that as of right now, the games change. That's just the game. For the kids' neighbors. Because the fact now is that Katsuhira, he feels this pain. This this heart pain. Which is basically when someone's heart is aching because obviously their feelings were hurt. They're in pain emotionally, mentally. <clears throat> it's not physical pain. He doesn't feel physical pain. This is going in a good direction, I feel, with his uh, neighbors. I think after after episode five, we can sure that the plot is going in a good direction. And now this episode definitely has it in a good, correct, good direction. Because you look at it this way. They're trying to achieve this, right? But in the process... You're putting people's lives in a very awkward position. Say what you will. Yeah, Maki's got to face this headstrong and, 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 and face what happened to her friend and whatnot. But to do it in this way and to have someone who feels nothing say to you, I'm disappointed in you. I'm disappointed in you. Oh, it gets the burn. I just, the burn levels were high up there. It just, it just had me in stitches when that happened. I mean, the Cyberman reference was pretty cool, too. But that, that was just, that was golden. That was just like, burn! Burn! <laughs> oh, because, I mean, that's like, that's like, you know what that's like? Not to reference this, you know, Ray Ayanami. That's like Ray going to Asuka or Sinji and saying, I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> and anyone who's seen Evangelion knows the way Ray acts. Like, come on. Oh, man. That's sick. Anyway, point being, four and a half out of five. This was a good episode. Uh, a lot to talk about here. And I just can't that this last part of the. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. I cannot lie. Um, so, yeah. Four and a half out of five. Um, we'll see what happens next week. It seems like they're going to confront... Um, yeah, they're going to confront Maki and what happened to her and find out what really happened to her and so on and so forth and have her get over it. So yeah, until next time, Balkan 92, the burn. Yo, so Zaki got burned by a guy who doesn't feel anything. Pretty deep, pretty deep. I'll see you guys later. Peace.